Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam Niki and I welcome you all to this channel. In this video, we will be talking about a very important topic which is mechanism. Now before we start defining it, let's have a look on this slide. So what we see here, we see different different machines and their role in our daily life. So all these machines we use in our day to day life and I believe we use much more number of machines in our day to day life that we are currently seeing in this picture. Now let's move toward our next slide. In our last picture we saw various types of machines. So the machine actually have working parts and those working parts are called mechanism. Now this mechanism you may see inside the engine. Similarly you may find other mechanisms somewhere else. For example, the pulley wheel mechanism may be used to transfer power in between two parallel shafts or rack and pinion mechanism which can convert rotary motion to to and fro. Now let's talk about other characteristics of mechanism so that we can understand it in better way. The mechanism has following characteristics. For example, the mechanism has relative motion among the parts because then only we can transfer motion or force. The primary purpose of a mechanism is to transfer motion as well as force. If there is no relative motion among the part, then this might be a structure instead of mechanism. The mechanism can transfer force and has a predictable or constrained motion. So this point will also help you to understand the difference between mechanism and some part which are connected with each other and have relative motion but cannot be considered as mechanism. If we talk about the definition of a mechanism, then the mechanism is a set of a machine element or a component or a part arranged in a specific order to produce a specific motion. So this is the standard definition of a mechanism. I hope that with definition and characteristics, the meaning of mechanism is clear to you. Now let's check your understanding. Let's say this is a bicycle. Now you need to identify the structure and the mechanism in the bicycle. Pause the video for 5 seconds and try to find the answer. Again it is very simple to find which one is structure and which one is mechanism. Because from the characteristics which we saw in the previous picture, we understand that the structure is a part which is fixed or have no motion. For example, this steel frame, which do not have any motion, relative motion. If we talk about this chain pulley system, then definitely there is a relative motion among these parts. And this motion is quite predictable. So here we can see that the power of a person is being transferred with the help of this paddle to the rear wheel. And all is this being done with the help of mechanism. So this mechanism is known as chain and sprocket mechanism and this is a structure which we talked about. Now here is the task for you. You need to identify the name of these both mechanisms. Also tell where these both mechanisms are being used. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content. And I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.